Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So we're at the third part of my autumn green compare and de-stash. I'm going to have a look at my khaki polishes today. This is a big span of a colour category. If you just think of all the different shades of combat pants that you've got and all of the different categories of army green that you can think of. But I'm going to try to focus on what I think is my version of khaki green, which is the brown, grey, darker um, leaning greens. So it's by no means the last green category that I've got to have a look at. There'll be more later on in the year. So in the winter, I'm going to be going through sort of a seasonal de-stash of icy greens, green glitters, multi-chromes, green gold, duochromes, moss greens, pine greens, forest greens. It goes on and on and on. I've got lots of different greens. But today, let's start with some khaki greens. I think I'm going to have quite a few comparisons today. This to me is probably the closest to what I would think of as a, a as a khaki green. It to, to you that might look like an olive green, but olive green is more of a yellow shade. It's very complicated and I've had lots of problems trying to categorise my darker greens. Um, but yeah, these two here look very similar. This is Spruce Up, um, which was um, a bargain actually from Tesco's. And this one here is Olive Grove. Again, really confusing the names. Um, but let's have a look at Spruce Up. So yeah, this is a very murky, dark khaki green. Great formula. Um, and I do like those those brushes on the um, on the complete salon manicures. This one here is Olive Grove, and actually this is a much better formula. They are very very close. It kind of feels like the H and M could probably be opaque in one coat. So we'll come back to those two. Another two that I think are very similar. This is a polish that I wore recently. My heart beats green right now. And this was given to me as a gift for recently from Mrs. Cronall when I went over to visit. This is a beautiful, more of, more of a grey than a brown khaki. And again, a fantastic formula. And this one is very similar. This is Olive U. <laughs> Lots of olive names for what I would consider more of a khaki green. But this is Essence. And it's actually not as dark as the Catrice. I think the Catrice stands out as more of a grey leaning khaki and the other three a more brown leaning but there's lots of similarities here. This one I think is going to be different. This is much more of a grey. Um, this is gangrene from that uh, fugly trio from Princess Nail Lacquer. Absolutely fantastic one, one coat, opaque in one coat creams. Beautiful. Another two that are very similar, I've done a comparison between them before, both China Glaze. This one is Central Parker, which was from, I think it was last year's fall collection. And this is an older polish, West Side Warrior. They do look very similar in the bottle, but they're very slightly different on the nail. So this one is Central Parker. I think this has got more of a, of a dusty quality to it, and it does look like a Parker coat. And West Side Warrior, I think, is a little bit darker. Well, actually, it's much more grey toned. So they definitely seem to fall in either a grey or a brown leaning kind of shade. Um, but yeah, they are different from each other. <laughs> I'm having trouble really trying to justify this. This is a much brighter shade, but to me still just falls into that khaki category. And this is called 
I am what I am and it's number 50 from Essence. I think this is probably going to look quite chartreuse next to everything else. Um, it's definitely paler, but to me that is still a khaki green. A little bit of brown in there. So that's um, that's all. That's the creams. I've also got some shimmery, holographic, flaky khaki polishes. So let's have a look. The first one here is from Polish Me Royalty, and this is Crocodile. This is quite a sheer polish, needs to be built up, but it definitely falls into that grey leaning khaki. And it needs a shake as well, all of the scattered holographic has kind of fallen to the bottom of this bottle. Very cute, Polish Me Royalty, another UK indie brand that isn't currently making polish, but hopefully she will come back. So that's Crocodile. This one here, um, I almost put this in my forest green. I also nearly put it in the gold green category, but this is Dragon, which was sent to me by Amanda the Nail Polish Hound, an absolutely beautiful A England. To me, the glowy bronze shimmer in here gives it, it tips it into the brown green khaki category for me. And it is quite a dusty green, absolutely beautiful. That's Dragon from A England. And then this polish here again, I could have put this in the um, gold greens, but this is a Revlon Parfumery Italian Leather. It It's very grey, but there is um, a slight green to this, which to me makes it look khaki. There is a bit of a gold shimmer, but actually on the nail, you really can't see that. It just looks like a brown khaki polish. I mean, you can see it a little bit, but it's um, it's not that noticeable. This here is Mantis, which is an Arda's Nails from the Here Come the Boys collection. And again, it's a, a khaki green, dusty, dusty green but it's got a ton of gold flake. So it just looks really kind of military to me. I absolutely love that polish. Another favorite is Claire Dares, and this is from the Nail Ninja collection. So you can see the khaki green, there's some gold in here, there's a pink shimmer in here. But from a distance, if you're not looking up close to the to how complex this polish is, it actually looks like a khaki. So it's base, it's a base of a khaki green with a lot of other stuff going on in there. I love this polish. So that's Claire Dares from the Nail Ninja collection. And finally, another Arda's Nails. This does kind of tip into forest green, but with that gold shimmer and the flakes, and the multi-chrome flakes, it gives it a khaki feel to me. So this is, I've got the prototype here. It's from the Falling Leaves collection, I think it was called. Um, and I think this was Turnover a New Leaf. I can't remember, I'll put the name up on the screen. But these were matte, multi-chrome mattes um, with, again, so much complex stuff going on in here. Shimmers, flakes, multi-chromes, um, an absolutely fantastic polish. This is the collection that Pony Sapphire came from as well. But it does have that brown-green base that gives it that khaki tone. Absolutely fantastic, and that dries down matte. So those are my khaki polishes. Uh, a lot of them don't need 
a second coat but I'm going to apply one and we can come back and see if any of those creams possibly I'm going to be de-stashing. So here is a second coat on everything. I love these autumnal shades. Um, it's going to be difficult but let's try and make this quick. So I'm going to de-stash finally. The Sally Hansen is just too similar to Olive Grove from H&M which is one that I will be keeping. I'm also going to be keeping the Catrice. My heart beats green right now but I am going to de-stash the Essence which is just too similar and actually of the two of the two I prefer the Catrice. So the reason that I'm going to the reason that I'm going to de-stash Olive Grove is because it's very similar in shade to this one here which is Italian leather but because you've got the subtle shimmer in there I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to de-stash Olive Grove but I'm going to keep Gangrene which is the grey khaki um, then we've got these two khakis here and I just don't feel justified in keeping both of them. I'm actually going to de-stash. I'm actually going to de-stash Central Parker and keep West Side Warrior. I'm also going to keep I'm also going to keep this essence. I am what I am. I think it might be similar to um an OPI that I've got so I'm going to keep it out really for comparison purposes in the future. So I'm keeping five creams and I'm de-stashing three. And then with the glitters and shimmers and hollows, um, I absolutely love Crocodile. It's a, a beautiful muted shade with those holographic sparkles. I'm going to be keeping this one. I'm also going to be keeping Dragon Beautiful Green. Um, tipping more into the forest green really but um, that bronze pinky shimmer gives it a khaki feel to me. I am going to keep Italian leather because I've already de-stashed I've already de-stashed Olive View and it's very very similar um, and I will definitely be keeping these three Ardis Nails khakis so Mantis, Claire Dares and this one here from the Autumn Leaves collection which dries a beautiful matte with those multi-chrome flakes is a really really is a fantastic polish for this time of year and um, I will never be de-stashing Claire Dares or Mantis um, so those are my khaki polishes for autumn let me know what your favorite khaki shades are and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye